Okay, so I'm just going to say before I do it right now, and I'm only going to do it a little bit. The whole idea is to keep in the big shapes. That's what I want everyone to get the idea of. It's not about all the little details. You, you paint the dog before the fleas. And so you, you want foundation there first, and you want to put your big shapes down. And the reason for that is so you can make adjustments. If put that in the comments, people, everybody. Paint the dog before the flea. Yes, exactly. So um, it's a good way to remember it anyway. So I'm going to go ahead, and um, everything that's on here right now is shadows. So I'm just going to go ahead and put on a little bit of light so you can see how you get that punch of color All right. um, with the color of light. Excellent. Thank you. Okay. Here it goes. All right. So we're going to work on this little tiny chick painting. And um, I'll try to do a little play-by-play -play without being too obnoxious. But um, good. No, I appreciate it. I have to switch glasses here. It's, it's kind of hard to... to uh, to look that direction and paint and talk looking at the iPad. So, all right. So tell us what you're doing. Okay, so um, right now I'm gonna come in and I'm going to just put, just lay in um, the color for here. It, I'm comparing it, it has more pink in it and not quite as bright and yellow as that. Okay, now somebody in the comments said, what, what do you use as your white? Do you have a one white or do you use multiple whites um i have one white i use um quick dry white i used to use titanium white but i can really thickly um if we have time later i'll show that up close you can see how thick my paint is okay it's quick dry it, it doesn't dry fast enough yeah okay so you're put, putting it on pretty thick yeah so. all right wow see that's to me that takes courage because it's like <laughs> really makes that light stand out yeah and it's just i i got it now i'm adjusting it i don't call these mistakes because students are so worried to put something on the canvas you have to put it on so you can make an adjustment yeah there's pink in it but it's not quite that pink so i'm going to come in and i put more blue now i'm going to just yeah it looks like you cooled it down a little yeah and then i warmed it up with a little yellow ochre so the whole concept here is painting big shapes because then you can make adjustments easier when you can see those big shapes. So what's the reason for the underpainting? If you're going to paint over it anyway, it's not you're not letting it show through. Why, um, why even have it? A, a little bit of it does show through, especially in my darks. Um, okay. If I didn't have that, it would, my darks would be too heavy. Um, All right. On the lights, yeah. Usually on the lights, you don't. You make, that, you make that look so easy. It is easier. <laughs> All right. And obviously here, I'm not doing anything um, with edges or anything like that yet because I just want to get this concept. Okay, so you can see big shape there. Now, I'm just going to come in. Hopefully, with a clean brush. Um, Getting a bigger brush? Um, I, I just want a real clean brush because I'm going to do this really light part. And if I don't have a really clean brush, you'll pick up color from the brush and muddy it. And I don't like muddy color. Okay, this is the fun part, you guys. Wow. See, I that I don't know if I'd have that kind of courage. So. <laughs> Usually Fabulous. at this point, if I'm doing a demo for students, I get a, whoa, you know, it's, it, it scares them at first. But... Um, it's best to put it down boldly because nobody ever starts with muddy color and brightens it up. Almost everybody I know ends up muddying up their colors. So if I start bright and I need to tone it down, I can. Um, but actually on this, I probably, I wouldn't. I will do a transition, you know, not, not in this video, but later on between the two, but not a lot.
Be sure to subscribe on our YouTube channel.